Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. Welcome back to the program and welcome to Advanced Class 21. That's right. Today we're going to continue with a look at the first conditional. We've been practicing with that. And we were practicing last time with negative answers in the first conditional. So this is the conditional where we're using will. So remember, I mentioned earlier the difference between will and going to, which is very often a very subtle difference. But we always use will in the first conditional. We don't use going to. We use will in the first conditional. Other than the conditional, we also use will for spontaneous actions. If the phone rings, I'll say, I'll get it. I'm not going to say, I'll, I, I'm going to answer it. We'll say, I'll get it. I'll answer it. Whereas the future with going to is much more common, in fact, but it's used with planned actions or stated intentions. So my students often say, well, it's, it's like it's more certain with going to. And I think that's accurate to say that it's more certain, or at least we perceive the action to be more certain when we use going to. We say, yes, I'm going to go there tomorrow. I'm going to go to work tomorrow. It's true. If it rains, I'll still go to work. In fact, yes. If it rains, I won't go to the party. So will... And then the negative, I won't. I won't. But here, let's take a look at a few more examples with the conditional. Will the team win if they don't play well? No. The team won't win if they don't play well. They'll probably lose. Will you drive there if there's a bus available? Yes, I'll drive there. Even if there's a bus available, you could say. Or in the negative, no, I'll I won't drive there if there's a bus available. I won't. Will you call her if your phone is broken? Let's go with negative answers. Will you call her if your phone is broken? No, I won't call her if my phone is broken. Will you learn English if you don't make an effort? No, I won't learn English if I don't make an effort. So repeat with me out loud. Will you speak well if you don't practice? No. I won't speak well if I don't practice. Will I... So, Kyle, me, Kyle, will I perfect my Spanish if I don't study? No. You won't perfect your Spanish if you don't study. Will he go there if it snows? No. He won't go there if it snows. Will you move to Nigeria if you get a job offer there? No. No. I won't move to Nigeria if I get a job offer there. I often ask this, questions to my, this question to my students. I say, okay, imagine. And here we can use the phrasal verb to turn down. So imagine your company says, I have an offer for you. It's, it's a great managerial position, a fantastic salary, but the job is in Nigeria. You're the manager, but the job is in Nigeria, and you can't leave, so no... No, um, no jamón serrano. Well, unless you can import it to Nigeria, export it from Spain, import it to Nigeria. Um, none of that. So, no good Spanish olive oil, no chorizo. Would you accept the offer or would you turn it down? Would you accept it or would you turn it down? I, well, I think I would turn it down. And my students, my students usually say that too. So, will you move to Nigeria if you get a job offer there? No, I won't. I won't. Will she drive if she's tired? No, she won't drive if she's tired. Now, be careful here. Tired. Tired. Pronunciation. What? All right, yes. Pronunciation, very important. Because I... I am tired of hearing my students mispronounce the word tired. I hear tired because of the spelling. But we say tired, tired, just like a tire, like un pneumatico, tire, tire. We don't say, we don't say tire. We say tire on a car, a tire. And here, I'm tired. I'm tired. 
tired. Almost, almost like that. Tired. 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 I'm tired. Repeat. Three times. I'm tired. Let's go. One. I'm tired. Out loud. Two. I'm tired. Three. I'm tired. Very good. So, no more tired. Eso no vale. Nunca más. Okay. Never again. I'm tired. But in fact, I'm not tired. Personally, I'm not tired. I'm ready to go. But one more question here. Will they eat if they're full? Will they eat if they're full? No, they won't eat if they're full. All right, ask me. Ask me if I'll go to Canada if the, if the flights are expensive. Ask me. Kyle, will you go to Canada if the flights are expensive? No, I won't go to Canada if the flights are expensive. Not if they're too expensive. Not if it is prohibitive. Though, if the flights are ex- are really expensive, no, I won't go. Ask me if I'll drive to France if I have time next week. Will you drive to France if you have time next week? No, I won't. Because, well, I mean, I just expect that I won't have time. But even if I did have time, I I would probably just relax. Ask me if I'll make a big breakfast tomorrow if I have time. Will you make a big breakfast tomorrow if you have time? Yes, I will. If I have time, I will. Ask me if my brother will call me if he has a problem. Will your brother call you if he has a problem? Yes, he will. He'll call me if he has a problem, so we can discuss it. Ask me if my boss will ask me to work more hours if he has more projects to be done. Will your boss ask you to work more hours if he has more projects to be done? Yes, he'll ask me to work more hours if he has more projects to be done. Yes, he will. Ask me if I'll call my brother tomorrow if I have news. Will you call your brother tomorrow? Will you? Will you? Will you call your brother tomorrow if you have news? Yes, I will. Okay. Ask me if I'll go to the party if you invite me. Will you go to the party if I invite you? Yes, I will. Of course I will. I'll go to the party if you invite me. Why not? Expression of the day. Yes, you heard it, folks. It's time for the expression of the day. The expression of the day today is around the clock. Around the clock. I, there's no way I could get all this work done, even if I worked around the clock. I think my boss doesn't understand how busy I am. If I, even if I were working around the clock, so it means constantly, 24 hours a day, constantly, nonstop. So imagine the hands on the clock, the minute hand, or well, or the hour hand, going around and around and around, all the way around. Really, the hour hand, I suppose, because if it goes all the way around, then it's 24 hours, and you've worked around the clock. Or you've done something around the clock. So if you keep working around the clock, means you keep working nonstop, nonstop, all day, 24 hours. I don't work around the clock. I work a lot, but I don't work around the clock. So that's your expression of the day, around the clock. It's a good one. Let's talk about even though. Even though and even if even though. So what's the difference between even though and even if? Basically, when we're going to do something despite, a pesar de, despite a reality, we use even though. So it's snowing, but you're going to go to the party anyway. Even though it's snowing, you're going to go to the party. Now notice how I can put this at the start or I can put it in the middle. I can say, you're going to go, or it's, you're going to, go to the party even though it's snowing. Okay? So, we're going to do something despite a given reality, a fact. Whereas, we use even the, even if when we're going to do something despite a possibility. So, I don't know if it's going to snow or not. I have no idea. But I'm going to go to the party e- even if it snows. Even if. So again, with uh, raining, saldré aunque está lloviendo. I'll go out even though it's raining. Even though it's raining. So it's raining, but I'm going to go out. Now, now, imagine if I don't know if it's going to rain or not. So maybe it's going to rain. I'll, I'll go out even if 
it's raining. Maybe it's going to rain, maybe not. I don't know, but even if it's raining, I'm, I'm going to go out. Okay? So now, so it's snowing, but you're going to go out anyway. I'm going to go out even though it's raining. Now, it's not snowing now, but you'll go whether it snows or not. In this case, we use even if. I'll go out even if it's snowing. Okay? So I'm going to give you the cue, the information, and at home, give me the sentence using even though or even if. Okay? And challenge yourself. Okay? Test yourself. You have no money, but you're going to go to the movies anyway. I'm going to go to the movies even though I have no money. I'll ask my brother for just enough to get in. So here, there's a possibility that your friends won't be there, but you'll go to the party regardless. So here, you'll go to the party even if your friends aren't there. If they're there, you're going to go. If they're not there, you're still going to go. You don't know if they're going or not, but regardless, even if they're not there, you're still going to go. Okay? My muscles are sore, but I'm going to the gym regardless. My muscles are sore. Tengo agujetas. You have that special word in Spanish, agujetas. But in English, we say, my muscles are sore. Que, que duelen. They're sore. They're sore. My muscles are sore. My arm is sore. My knees are sore. My back is sore. No, not really, but for an example, I have a headache. It means my head is sore. I go to the doctor and he says, is it sore in the front or is it sore in the back? Oh, it's sore in the front. Is it sore on the left or is it sore on the right? It's sore on the right. I have a headache because my head is sore. So if my muscles are sore, I go jetas, if my, I have sore muscles, sore muscles. So my muscles are sore, but I'm going to the gym regardless. Here we have even though I'm going to the gym, even though my muscles are sore. So I might be tired tomorrow, but I'll definitely go to the party. I might be tired tomorrow, but I'll definitely go to the party. I'll go to the party even if I'm tired. The car is low on gas, but we're going to take it. We're going to take it even though, even though it's low on gas. The equipment might not be good, but we'll have to use it. We'll have to use it even if, even if it isn't good. I don't know if it's good or not, but we're going to use it even if. They can't pay him, but he'll do the job anyway. He'll do the job even though, even though they can't pay him. That's right, even though they can't pay him. He'll still do the job. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time now for the vocabulary of the day. That's right, the vocabulary of the day. Patrocinador. Sponsor. Sponsor. SOS. Sponsor. Traducción. Traducción. Translation. Translation. Very good. Controversia. O controversia. Controversy. Controversy. Marfil. M uh, ivory. Excuse me. Ivory. Ivory, like the tusk of an animal. Uh, the tusk of an elephant is made of ivory. Ivory. Acercarse a. Acercarse a. To approach. To approach. That's right. To approach. To get closer to something. Gradually getting closer and closer. Approaching. To approach. Very good. Now we have a phrasal verb. All right, everybody likes phrasal verbs. We have a phrasal verb to look at, which is to make up. To make up. To make up with someone significa hacer las paces con alguien. To, you could say, to, to, to fix your relationship with someone, to make up with them. So I'm having an argument with my girlfriend and then finally say, let's make up. Let's just make up. Let's, let's just rectify the problem here to make up. Did they make up? Yes, they made up. They made up. Now, you can have problems in your family, and sometimes it takes a long time to make up if you have a problem in your family with a relative. Did you make up with your brother? 
Give me an affirmative answer. Yes, I made up with my brother. Did you make up with your sister? Yes, I made up with my sister. I made up. Made up. So linking onto the you. Made up. I made up with my sister. Did you make up with your mother? Yes, I made up with my mother. Did you make up with your girlfriend? Yes, I made up with my girlfriend. To make up with someone. So fixing up the situation. Did Hillary make up with Bill? They had a bit of a problem, didn't they? Did Hillary make up with Bill? Yes, she made up with him. They, she forgave him, right? Did they make up with each other? Did they? Did they make up with each other? Yes, they made up with each other. Do you think they'll make up with the others? With the others, con los demás? Do you think they'll make up with the others? Yes, I think they'll make up with the others. Can you make up with them? Yes, I can make up with them. Ask me. Ask me if I can make up with my friend. Because I have a bit of a problem. Not really, but let's pretend I have a bit of a problem with my friend. Ask me if I can make up with him. Kyle, can you make up with your friend? Yes, I can make up with him. I'll try my best to make up with my friends, all my friends, because friendships are very important. Will you make up with him? Yes, I'll make up with him. Should they make up with each other? Yes, they should make up with each other. Do you usually make up? Yes. We usually make up. So to make up, okay, to recover a friendship or, or a relationship. If you're having problems, sometimes you say kiss and make up, right, with a couple. So you, you try to recover things and get, get the relationship back on track. To make up, to make up. Hacer las paces con alguien, let's say. All right, do you remember the expression of the day? Around the clock. Around the clock. Sometimes I feel like I'm working around the clock here. To make these radio shows, I hope you appreciate them. My name is Kyle Miller. Thank you so much for joining me. We're all out of time, so I'm going to leave you now, but tomorrow there will be more. Stay tuned. There's more great stuff coming up here on Vaughn Radio, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>